Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on transmission line theory. For this video, it's actually a continue based on part two, in fact, also part one. Okay, so if you do not understand how I actually derive all those Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law, please take a look on part one and part two series. For this video, I'm going to discuss how we actually can solve the Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law of the circuit model of a transmission line. On part two series, I have used Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law. This video, I'm going to solve the two equation. This will be the part three series discussion on the transmission line theory. If you're keen to know more about transmission line theory, please take a look on the playlist under the description. So over there, you will have a better concept on the transmission line theory. I'm also going to put more discussion on the transmission line theory as soon as possible. So please take a look on the playlist from time to time. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, I really appreciate your strong support. If this video is useful, please seriously consider to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Earlier on, I have derived the Kirchhoff voltage law on the part two series. Okay, so I'm not going to do this step, but this is what I done on the part two series. I actually derived the Kirchhoff voltage law and I use this as equation one. So this video, okay, I'm going to show it to you step by step. How can we actually solve this Kirchhoff voltage law and later on Kirchhoff current law? So let's concentrate on Kirchhoff voltage law first. So this is the equation that will show it to you on the previous page. Okay, so what I want to do is basically, okay, I, I'm going to put this on the right hand side and I put this on the right hand side. This is where I have on the right hand side and what I left will be this minus and I actually take the common factor, okay, which is delta Z and IZ. So basically, I arrive at this equation. So next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by Delta Z. Okay, so this part here, I'm going to divide by Delta Z. This part, okay, I have this Delta Z, I just cancel. So therefore, I have this equation. Next, okay, I'm going to take a limit, okay, and then I'm going to put Delta Z into zero. Okay, so basically, on both sides, I'm going to do this. Okay, over here, I observe that basically, this equation, I can actually replace by DVZ over DZ. Okay, so basically over here, I can replace. So this part here, I can put it over here. And therefore, on the outcome, I actually get this equation 3. Okay, this part, I actually replace this part. Okay, limit delta Z. This part, I don't have any delta Z. So basically, everything still in that. So basically, I have this equation 3. Next, okay, I'm going to do on the Kirchhoff current law. Okay, again, how to derive this equation. Okay, please take a look on the part two series if you're not sure how I actually derived this equation. But let's continue. So this is basically the equation two that I've done on the previous page. Okay, again, same thing here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I put this IZ on the right-hand side. I put this on the right-hand side and therefore I have this equation here. So what left over, okay, I just take a common factor. So this is minus G plus JWC. This is the common factor, and I have Vz plus delta Z here. Okay, next, okay, again, I'm going to do a divide by Z on the both sides. So basically, this will be divided by Z. This part, divided by Z, I just cancel off. Okay, so it's the same. I'm going to put a limit, okay, delta Z to zero. Okay, so over here, okay, as I told you that this part, I realized that I can replace by Diz and then Dz. Okay, so this part here, I replace with this equation. And the outcome, I, this delta Z, I name it to zero. So this thing disappeared. So on the outcome, I actually obtain equation number four. Next. Okay, so this is equation three. This is equation four. 
what I want to do is basically I will differentiate equation 3 and 4 with respect to z. Okay, let's start out by doing on equation 3 first. So basically, let's start by doing this equation 3. Mm -hmm. So I differentiate this equation okay, with respect to z. Okay, over here, don't have any on the z component. Over here, iz, I have a so-called function of z. Basically, I differentiate it over here. But you see this point here, this term here is exactly what I have in equation 4. Can you see here, this term here and this term is exactly the same. So I can replace this term by this term over here. So therefore, minus minus become positive. So this is basically what it left over here. This part, I basically just add in here. So from here, okay, I just want to denote that this is a, K is a propagation constant. So therefore, K squared here is basically alpha plus J beta. Okay, so this will be the outcome okay, on the propagation. Okay, square root of this thing will get the propagation constant. Okay, so this is what I have done based on equation 3. So let's move on to equation 4. Okay, so this is on equation 4. Okay, actually it's quite similar. So I'm going to differentiate this equation 4. Okay, so again, this part don't have any z term. I leave it intact. So basically this will be dvz over dz. And this term here, okay, as I showed it to you earlier on also, Okay, it will be the same as this part here. So minus minus cancel away. So I have this part and this whole part actually coming over here. Okay, so therefore again this is exactly the same as the previous slides here. Okay, so this k k will be a propagation constant. Okay, then last but not least, let's do a quick conclusion. Okay, this part here, as I show it to you here, which is this part here, K okay, will be equals to this part will be K squared, K okay, and then IZ. And this part here will be K squared and BZ, which I have shown it to you here. And this is what I have discussed earlier on. Okay, so over here I have done, okay, I have solved the equation of Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law based on the transmission line. Okay, so you probably need another video, which is the part four series discussion, in order to fully understand all the equation on transmission line. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. See you soon.